Grab your cleaning shoes today, guys. We are doing some quick pickups as well as some organizing and just decluttering overall. This was a project week when I am working on a room project. Don't really care about the rest of the house. So that's what you're seeing here. A little peek of the master bedroom, which I am working on for a later video. Before we jump in today's clean, if you could like this video, it helps my channel out so much. Subscribe if you wanna see more of this or the makeovers that I've got coming up. So today's goal is not perfection. I'm not gonna to get to everything that I wanted to, but I definitely made a lot of progress. Pro tip, if you've got a load of laundry, always start off with that because it can run while you are doing the rest of your cleaning and you can end the day by folding that laundry or forget that it exists in the dryer for a week. Like I mentioned, working on the master bedroom right now, which means I took everything out of the master bedroom and this landing area is the only place for it to land. Some of the stuff's going back into the room. Some of the stuff I went through later in the day to donate. We've got a little shelter nearby where you can drop off home goods and clothing items. So that's what most of the stuff on top of the dryer is. I also went through our girls' clothes on this day and took a load over. So while the laundry is going, I know there's so much to do up here, but I did a quick scan and I found every dish or anything that would need to go downstairs. I'm gonna take this all downstairs, clean the downstairs, and then I'll come back to what's up here. That's just how I roll. much to do in here we like to pick up at the end of the day so that this room doesn't get too messy it's mostly just straightening it up we were in a little bit of a rush this morning so the girls kind of left out stuff from breakfast as did i so i'm gonna start off by gathering up all the things that need to go in the dish in the sink and then i'll do those dishes This year I've been making it a point to try out new products and ways of cleaning. You know I've been loving the Dawn Power Wash. I've been using it all over the house. Bathrooms, kitchen countertops, I scrubbed our oven the other day, and then the stuck on grease in our dishes. So this week I tried out the Scrub Daddy. Yes, I was influenced by Vanessa on TikTok. Uh, my favorite cleaning TikTok account. Happy to report 10 out of 10 would recommend if you haven't tried a Scrub Daddy, definitely go grab one. They look small, but they are mighty. It's really cool all the things you can do with them. You can clean silverware really easily just by putting it through the mouth of the sponge. You can get down into cups. When it's in the colder water, it's harder if you need to scrub something more vigorously. And then the warm water softens it up so it's just like a normal sponge. I'm still learning all of the magic of the scrub daddy, but I will link them down below if you have not tried one out yet. As you can see, I like to go back and forth between that and my normal brush, um, but I used the scrub daddy the other day on our oven door that had years and years of caked on ovenness. It was so bad. I used the Dawn Power Wash and Barkeeper's Friend and the scrub daddy, and after rinsing it out, it looks brand new. Like I have not even used it.
you've seen a lot of cleaning videos from me recently because I've been working on prepping projects and getting supplies for other projects. These days, online shopping is pretty much my only shopping and that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. Honey is a completely free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. I've been using Honey for years and I love that they do all the work for you. Say you're getting a pizza, they can find you the best price on that pizza. So here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out on one of its 30,000 supported sites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. If Honey finds a working code, you'll watch your prices drop. It is so very simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. You can get Honey for free today by going to joinhoney.com slash Carissa. That is joinhoney.com slash Carissa. So they know that I sent you. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring today's video. I love finding super easy ways to save money. Our shoe storage is one of the places that I've been dying to organize. We have shoes stuffed in here from summer. There were probably 20 socks in here. Just several seasons worth of shoes needed a vacuuming. I pulled all the shoes out, picked just the ones that we are wearing now, and I'm gonna go through the others to either store for the future or donate. If you're wondering, this shoe storage is from Ikea. If you're ever looking for a link to a product, I put the most commonly asked ones down in the description. And then I also have a link to my Amazon store, which has anything from Amazon that you see around our house. And then a lot of the products that I use are in there as well. If you can't find something though, leave me a comment down below and I will look for it. My 
find of the week was this little flower side table originally from Pottery Barn, but I got it for free because somebody left it out as trash. We live in the suburbs, so there's a lot of good finds like this. People will leave things down on the end of their driveway if they want to get rid of it. And I was driving by, I could not believe it. The craziest part is this is the exact match to the kids table that we have in the playroom. The same color, both from Pottery Barn. I got the other one on Facebook Marketplace. So excited when I saw this, whipped the minivan around, snagged it and kept going. Someone else had left a vacuum out, but I left that for another person to have a great day. Curious though, leave me a comment down below. What is the best thrift or free find that you have found? I love talking about finding a good deal. Okay, loved reading all of your comments on whether you wear cleaning shoes or house shoes on the last video. And a few videos ago, I asked if you vacuum your couch or not. Most of the people that have pets were like, how do you not vacuum your couch? So I found a new way that I'm testing out today, another TikTok by, I guess we're talking about all of them today. This is the Chom Chom. So I'm gonna show you a pass through of this thing on the couch. So this is actually after I had cleaned the couch off yesterday. So this is just a day and I'll show you half of the couch and then I'll show you the other half of the couch. You kind of just run this thing back and forth and it eats up all the hair. It's great on stairs and carpet too. So this is half of the sofa. One day after cleaning it, we have one dog and he's not allowed on it. It's called the Chom Chom. It's from Amazon and it's linked below. Here's a first look at some new things in the master bedroom. I put these up yesterday, which is why all the tools are hanging around. And now I'm kind of deciding what, how I want to decorate them or how I want to organize them. I got these baskets here and you guys can um, help me out and comment down below what you think. This is a little bit for a different video, but I'm trying to figure out if I like the baskets up high. I've got four for each, obviously. Up high or four down low? Probably these two down here. High or low, high or low, do we like them? I think I like them low.
the spots that I keep some of the girls' books to pull from to switch out on their shelves. But as you can see, this has gotten pretty messy since I last showed it. I'm gonna take all these out and organize them again, put them back in here, and that way I can get the diapers and the wipes back up top as well. organizing casually in the closet led to me doing an overhaul of the closet. I think I'm gonna put that footage into another video because I'm building some shelves in here so that our girls can have all of their clothes at their level. Um, that will be something fun that's coming up. But thank you guys for cleaning with me today. I hope you got some motivation. Be sure to like this video if you did and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. If you are new, I'd love to have you hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, happy cleaning.